Listen to me, listen. All right, you're halfway home. What you gotta do now, listen. Give him the movement, give him the movement. Work off the movement. Box this guy. Don't sit inside of him. This is interesting now. They feel that Jones is beginning to wear down and pierce the armor of Tim Williamson. Will he pick up, pump up the volume here, and does he have it in him? Let's watch as he's back to the right-handed stance. He is Guillermo Jones in the red and white. Williamson the southpaw with the blue trim. And halfway through, Steve, you have it how? Dead even, 48 apiece. I gotta love it. Not a fight we like. Good action, no knockdowns, and pretty even. I'm gonna make it, it's hot out here, it's 92. They're outdoors, the big guys. Will will probably become as much a factor, especially the second half of the fight here, as, as skill. And again, thing to talk about, Williamson has never been beyond six rounds. That is a quantum leap. He's got to find a way to either conserve energy or get this guy out of there. He certainly doesn't look in desperate physical shape. He still seems sharp, but he's flat-footed now. And trading with Jones may not be the best idea. There's that left blow. And you see Williamson, no reason to back up. He's not being pressed. But now he shoots the left jab, so that the left hand being low doesn't make sense to me. If you're going to try to hook a softball with it, then maybe you carry it lower, as you pointed out. They stop punching now. Boy, Jones taking the wrong round off after really punishing uh, Williamson in the last minute of the fifth. He's done nothing here in the sixth. Had the momentum, and his corner knew it. They talked about you breaking through, and he's falling apart. Jones there with a sharp double jab. A little bit of swelling under Williamson's eye. And uh, Jones as well in the left eye. Do you feel Jones respects Williamson's power, Steve? Not necessarily. I think he's been hurt in this fight. Those right hooks might have shaken him up a little bit. There he tries to go with a lead right to the body that misses. Williamson trying to draw him in instead of moving, as his trainer Al McCauley said, and coming in with the jab, starting the flow from there in combination punching. He faints with the jab and tries a, 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 a chopping left. Again, Williamson not with the best judgment of distance there. This round is uh, 23 seconds left, and who's going to win it? I mean, neither guy's done anything here. I love putting put you in a spot. If it doesn't change, I gotta ask you who's gonna win it. You still got 10 seconds. I think I saw a body punch. Yeah. It's one in about six rounds. And the last five seconds could steal it here for somebody. Williamson's round. And as we go here to the seventh round get ready to go to the seventh we want to remind you that our main event is next brooklyn welterweight luis Colazo undefeated then on showbox before had that torn rotator cuff repaired says he has worked on some things and is anxious to take care of business against the veteran edwin cassiani of colombia so that's a listen to you nick is that well yeah you know uh I don't want to coach him, but uh, you know how he gets psyched up? You watch the Scarface. He took it on disc with him here, and if that movie won't pump you up to fight, nothing will. <laughs> Looks scary. Yeah. Get ready for round seven. They're both off the stool, and there we see. Guillermo 
Jones out south paw again, Steve. Good idea, bad idea. Let's see. He's had some success with it, and at times he's he's gotten hit with that lead right hook of Williamson because he's been in a southpaw stand. So let's see. I don't like the way he's southpaw. He's squared up. He's coming straight in. As you see, Williamson in a southpaw with much more shoulder. Good point. Yeah. The only, the only reason I like it is Jones' best punches is on double cut. And he's more likely to land it from a southpaw stand. And there we see Williamson twice firing lead rights to the body. So maybe he feels there's plenty of target there. Williamson tries a left to the draw. Jones not punching now. Not a hell of a lot of snap or power on that straight left from Williamson. And I think the reason for that is he has a natural right-hander. Most southpaws, you can chop off their right hand. They don't use it. They depend totally on the left. Williamson is not like that. And there Williamson tries the lead right. Comes back and smacks with that left. That was a, one of his best shots in several rounds. Jones answered with the right of his own. Here comes Jones, stalking with intent, but not firing anything behind it. And he squared up again and could lean into a shot. But Williamson not turning on the speed anymore. And the volume of punching has stopped. There he picks it up with a combination, but he's got to come right back. Keep in mind, aggressiveness by itself should not be considered as a positive by the judges. It has to be effective aggressiveness. Jones staring right at Williamson's chest right now. Well, again, Steve, you pointed out that there's, he may not have a great whack, Tim Williamson, but again, smart aggression is one way. You can be wary, but take the lead, fire off the bursts, and outwork your man, which is what he's doing in this round, and what he's got to do more of to definitely put this fight in the bank. Well, besides being taller than Williamson, doesn't Jones just look bigger? He's not cut, not that muscular, but he looks, he looks like he's about 20 pounds heavier. He does, and now he's trying to run down Williamson as he traps him in his corner. Here comes Jones. Ravaging right hand there, some of his best work. Williamson trapped against the ropes, trying to fight his way off them. But only firing that single right hand, and here comes Jones with the uppercut you talked about, Steve. See if it'll be open. Now Joe Cortez breaks them, and Williamson swelling under the right eye. First sustained inside action this fight, and I think it's only good for Jones. Which puts him back into this fight as you would have him taking this round, I assume. No doubt. Here's that. Give me, give me a 12. We got three rounds left, baby. Three rounds left. Protect your eye. Now listen to me. Listen to me. You got to give me the angles, and you got to work off those angles, T. Everything behind the jab, okay? Listen. When you go, come to the body, come right back to the head. Four pieces, five pieces. You hear me? You hear me? T? You see action in round seven. And it was all Jones. Counter punches. That's his specialty. Straight left hand, right hook, move, move. Come right back. Don't sit in front of this guy and let him get, get, be there for the return. You understand? All right, now, start hooking off the jab a little bit, too. Start hooking off that jab. All right, seconds out. Well, sense of urgency there, I think. Segundo fuera. Tim Williams and Al Mc, Mc, uh, McCauley. McCauley wants his man to definitely pump up the volume, and he should. They talk about the jab and running Jones and circles more or less, turning him, having him run into punches. Now we see Williamson trying to move in that direction, rather than laterally. There's a combination. So he fires five punches there, and a stiff left that connects. Jones just absorbing blows, but he's got to win rounds and do something, Steve. And by far the most effective punch for Williams in the whole fight has been that right hook. That's the shot he should be looking for. Step to the right, throw the right hook. Al McCauley wants him to work behind that jab. Now he's standing in front of Guillermo Jones. And here comes Jones, happy to oblige. If you've got a target against the ropes, you better tee off. Particularly if you sense you're behind in this fight. And 
Jones Campfield is winning it. How much steam on Guillermo Jones' punches, Dave? He's in front of us. Not enough to hurt Williamson, but enough to score points. Right now, he's the only guy punching, and his experience is showing. This is a seasoned 12-round fighter in a tough 10-round fight under tough conditions. He looks like the more experienced guy right now. He's been able to parcel his energy just the right way so that now we're in the last stage of this fight. He has something left. Let's see if he can call on that reserve, because again, Williamson swelling under the right eye. He's a never, never land, never been this far. And there he is backed up and looked like Stone to me. Got hit with some crisp follow-up shots. Williamson just with arm punches now and hanging on. He's tired. Jones doesn't want to acknowledge that he might be tired, but Williamson is acknowledging it. You see Williamson playing so he gets hands back. Hands down now. And those are just arm taps as he eats an uppercut and a hook to the body. Jones just waiting in now, and Williamson has been leaning and ready to fall. So it is a matter of stamina as Williamson looks like a man ready to go with no more than 30 seconds left to try to get out of the eighth round. Very impressive punch output. But Jones, I mean, this is the eighth round. It's hot here. He's 192 pounds, and he's throwing over 100 punches this round, I guarantee you. Siri, right shot there as he's letting it hang out. 15 seconds to go. There's a body shot that takes the legs away from Tim Williamson. The swelling is getting bigger under his right eye. He's trying to fight back, but this looks like a 10 8 round, Steve Farland. How do you have it after eight as the mouthpiece comes out? I'm going to call that. Okay, listen, listen to him, my man. He's fine, baby. He's fine, Joe. Come here, my man. Give me the next well. I'm going to put that. You keep taking punches like that. I'm going to stop this fight. You understand? Give me the thing for his nose, folks. Get that thing a swab on his nose. Now listen to you. Listen to me. You've got to box this guy. Don't lay in with this guy. Don't lay in with this guy. T, listen to me. Listen to me. Now, what I want you to do, you Okay, as we pick it up, watch Williamson getting his world rocked. Only one guy punching. Williamson not moving much, not keeping his hands high, and not holding. So he's not doing any of the three things you can do when you're in trouble to get out of trouble. And the blistering attack continues here as Jones pours on the heat here. Williamson trapped in the corner. Let's clear the corner. Let's clear that corner. So finally, Guillermo Jones hits the power lane, Steve. Came late. And how do you have your card after eight? 77 75 for Yumbo Jones. How about that? As the momentum has turned. Uh, Timmy Williamson better use that jab. He is standing and now looking to go right handed. Interesting. He's a natural right hander, but is this the time? Nobody punching here. Williamson just arm shots. Nothing. His legs seem like they're gone, Steve. Well, this is why Showbox is an interesting concept because we don't know how a Tim Williamson's going to react in a situation like this. He's never been in a situation like this. He's a prospect. He's a prospect. How is he going to respond these last two rounds? He has dealt with the adversity of a searing attack from Guillermo Jones in round eight to come out for this ninth heat, but not doing enough as he's right-handed again, Williamson against Jones. Both guys have changed up. Williamson fires a left jab, eats a jab in return. As the action has slowed, there are five seconds between punches and more. It's over 90 degrees here outdoors in Las Vegas. Combination sails wide there, and Jones looks a little tired, but certainly intent on trying to get his man out of here. He had Williamson seriously staggered there in the end. What should Jones do, Steve? He's got what, a round and a half to go. What really go for it at this point? Jones is a veteran, and he knows that if Williamson doesn't do anything, he doesn't have to do anything, and he still might win the round. He's taking this round off after throwing over yes. his punches last round. He's got to know this fight is close, though. Come on, 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 come on. Jones has been happy to get into numerous exchanges, but so far each man is a little leery of the other, keeping their distance. 
as the work rate has ground into a halt. Keep this in mind that Guillermo Jones 10 rounds or more three times. Tim Williams has never been past six. Neither guy looks fresher than the other, I would say. I couldn't have an answer in that department. But Williamson again with no steam on his punches. And then I just see because his legs aren't behind him. And I just think his legs aren't carrying him anywhere anymore. Right hook, and he's got a hook. And now Williamson looks to be in trouble as he hangs on. 20 seconds to go in the round. His hands are down. signals the end of the round and looks into the eyes of Tim Williamson and will go to the corner and see if Williamson has it in him to continue. Well, this is the end of the fight here, Steve. Who do you give the round to? 
and we get the fight. I have it, uh, Jones winning the tenth, 97-91 Jones. I have him with a decisive win myself. We are doing the judging, of course. Top judges from the Nevada Athletic Commission here in Las Vegas. Ted Williams, face swollen. Panama, le dedica para la llave de mi vida, de mi tío, lo quiero mucho. Saludos para Mariana Calona y su familia. Un saludo para Panamá Luis. As he's feeling good, Guillermo Jones. Feeling he's got this one in the bank. As we await the verdict here. An air of some more tension. I can't believe that Tim Williams feels he won this fight. But some consolidation in the fact that he hung tough and came back when he was wavering on the brink in the later rounds. I agree, Nick. I mean, even if the judges have it closer than I did, how could you possibly have this fight for uh, for Williamson? I don't think it's possible. Stranger things have happened. I show fam. It's daily promotion. The number one. It's daily. Looks like those are some of the best moves he's made as we go upstairs. Tom Triber has the official scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards and we have a split decision. Judge Dave Moretti scores about 95 to 94 in favor of Jones. Judge Dalby Shirley scores about 95 to 94 in favor of Williamson. And Judge Glenn Trowbridge scores about 96 to 93 in favor of your winner, Guillermo, the teacher Felino Jones. Wow. Okay, Steve. Very briefly, let me ask you. Well, I we know from how you had it. Didn't seem to be that close to me either. I'm just glad they got it right. You know, yes. Two uh, two judges uh, getting it right, at least uh, in my subjective view. And uh, I, 